So in this video, I wanted to share with you the neighborhood uh, known as Powder House. So we're on Google Maps here, and Powder House is a neighborhood that, as you can see, is outlined here on the screen. And it's basically above Davis Square and off to one side of it. So, uh, you know, we have Davis Square and then uh, off uh, on the left here is Teal Square and then Tufts around Tufts University. So I've got separate uh, videos on the Tufts neighborhood and West Somerville, Teal Square and Davis Square. Uh, but what I want to focus in on today is this neighborhood known as Powder House. And, uh, you know, it's not a neighborhood name that people use all that often. It's it's more known by the streets that define it. But, uh, you know, if you go to Google Maps, uh, they actually call it Powder House Square. That's what you type in to uh, get this uh, highlighted neighborhood to show up. So coming out of Davis Square, uh, we can follow the shape of the neighborhood by going uh, up College Avenue, uh, a little bit of Warner Street. Uh, this is Powder House Circle. Uh, and uh, so we'll talk about that. And then the neighborhood um, definition line runs down Broadway into Ball Square. And then the uh, rail line serving the Green Line extension defines the eastern border here. Uh, and it extends out um, as far as a little bit of Central Street and then Benton Road. Uh, and then Main Avenue kind of taking you back in towards Davis is Highland Avenue. So, uh, you know, this gives you a pretty good sense. The main uh, streets north to south, if you will, are college seen here. Uh, and then if I just blow this up a little, um, we can see uh, a Willow. Let me just blow it up a little bigger. There's Willow. Um, it's almost too big. So here's um, Willow Avenue running north to south, if you will, right through the neighborhood. So we've got College. Uh, this is Liberty Avenue. Willow. Um, and uh, Cedar Street, which is a main uh, cross street in the neighborhood. This is Lowell Street uh, further down and Central. So Central, Lowell, Cedar, uh, Willow, and College. And then east to west, if you will, is Broadway running through Ball Square. Uh, we've got Kidder Avenue, which almost makes it fully across the neighborhood. Uh, Morrison Avenue, uh, which runs from College all the way to Cedar. And then Highland, which runs really from Davis uh, all the way through the neighborhood um, as a main avenue. So uh, that's the neighborhood. And then all of these streets that uh, you see otherwise uh, here on the screen that define it are wonderful residential uh, side streets. So uh, that's a sort of overall picture of the neighborhood. And uh, we'll come back to this during the video, but I wanted to just give you a general sense of this neighborhood outside of Davis Square. And uh, you can see down here is uh, Porter Square in Cambridge. So you're not far from Porter Square in Cambridge and Davis Square in Somerville. So uh, as you leave Davis Square and you head up College, you come to Powder House Circle, which we see here on the screen. And this is this uh, major rotary. Um, this is the Tufts campus above it. And um, this is Powder House Park adjacent to it. But, you know, only in New England can you have a rotary with uh, six uh, different uh, streets all feeding into it. And so it's, you know, it's really something. And next to it um, is uh, Powder House Park, which is a lovely um, green space. And uh, here's some pictures of it on the screen. There's a pathway uh, that you can enter into the park and walk around. And um, in the distance in this shot, you can see the uh, 
powder house circle rotary that uh, I was just describing. Uh, so powder house park is a nice, well-maintained green space. Here's a shot of uh, the park in the winter. And um, as you can see here on occasion, there'll be an event in the park and uh, people come out and enjoy the green space. Uh, so Powder House Park is a nice uh, green space in the neighborhood. As you leave Powder House Circle and Powder House Park and go up Broadway, you're entering into Ball Square. And Ball Square has some great uh, places for uh, food and drink. Uh, here's uh, Lindell's Bakery um, dates from 1887. You know everything you don't need and want: <laughs> um, cakes and treats. Uh, which uh, there's a cannoli. You know, lots to choose from on display, and it's old school. There's the front facade, um, and uh, it's fun to go in there and uh, pick up a treat. Here's some cakes. They do them. Uh, of course, on uh, a custom basis, so that's fun. Um, and then as you go further into the heart of uh, Ball Square on Broadway, there are a couple of dueling side-by-side -side breakfast places, Sound Bites Cafe and Ball Square Cafe uh, that uh, people line up for on the weekend. Uh, everyone has their favorite. Um, Taco Party is across the street, as is True Grounds, a coffee shop that I'm fond of. Um, they do make a nice breakfast sandwich here. There's a shot of the cafe inside. You know, it's uh, a one-of-a-kind old-school cafe with um, cappuccino, espresso, all the usual suspects. Uh, and they do a nice job, and uh, it's got a nice vibe. Um, as a cafe that's called True Grounds on Broadway. And then as you continue down uh, the street, further down, there's Kelly's Diner, a 50s dining car, retro, old school breakfast. That's fun. Um, and then um, there's Avenue Kitchen and Bar, which uh, is uh, kind of an upscale local with uh, Detroit style pizza. Um, nice uh, addition to the neighborhood. So again, Ball Square um, on Broadway uh, in the Powder House neighborhood is uh, a place people come for food and drink as that brief tour of the neighborhood, I think, uh, will give you uh, a sense of. So it's a nice um, resource for all the people who live on the streets that feed into Ball Square in the Powder House neighborhood. Coming to Somerville is the Green Line extension and the Powder House neighborhood will be served by several stops uh, when this Green Line extension uh, is completed. So right now as I make this the station has now opened here uh, as I indicate with uh, my pointer on the map at Union Square and then the line will be uh, moving out now into uh, the heart of Somerville and the Powder House neighborhood will be served by station stops at Lowell Street here, as well as um, on uh, Broadway in Ball Square. So, uh, and again, uh, the stations will continue beyond these two to uh, Tufts and all the way out to uh, the Somerville Medford line. So. It's really exciting uh, that the Green Line is coming, the Green Line extension uh, to Somerville and specifically to uh, this neighborhood. If we look at the map again of the Powder House neighborhood, you can see that in addition to Powder House Park, uh, there's a playground on Lexington Ave, Lexington Park, and another one uh, on Albion Street, uh, known as Albion Playground. And uh, just wanted to show you some photos I've taken of the Albion Street Playground. It's a great uh, park uh, 
for kids with play areas and as you can see a grassy area some swings um, planting beds uh, basketball uh, you can see here the overall layout you know community garden swing splash plaza <laughs> play area slope seating lawn shaded tree plaza so it kind of is uh, the best of all possible worlds um, for folks who are looking for a great city park so uh, the Powderhouse neighborhood is served by Powderhouse Park by Lexington uh, Park and by Albion Street uh, playground so it's uh, fortunate to have these uh, very nice green spaces so if we go back here to the map I thought I would focus just to give you a sense of the neighborhood on uh, Morrison Avenue here so Morrison starts at college and goes uh, all the way down uh, crossing over Willow here uh, crossing over Highland Road and ending at Cedar Street so you know it crosses over a big portion of this uh, neighborhood let's just see if I can show you here it is Morrison Avenue uh, in red here just to help you better understand uh, the street and its location as you can see it's just above Davis Square and adjacent and running nearly parallel with the Somerville community path more on that in a moment but uh, to just share with you um, some photos I've taken uh, on Morrison Avenue that's me and uh, let's uh, one of the homes on Morrison and here's the avenue so this is closer to college and uh, you know as I walk down the street here's a bed and breakfast uh, and a beautiful mansard single family restored um, across the street is another nice home with a picket fence another uh, B&B the Davis Square Inn on Morrison with uh, this lovely little side yard it's a real nice uh, feeling. You can see that uh, there's some renovation and new construction afoot, uh, and this is typical of the neighborhood. Uh, this is a schoolhouse that's been converted to condominiums. Uh, some lovely restored uh, attached residences on Morrison scene here with the spring bloom. Well-maintained uh, gardens and it's just such a lovely street. <laughs> Here's a cat hanging out. Uh, and then as you get to Willow, there's an old school uh, variety shop that's actually extremely well maintained and well run and very pleasant to go into. The Why Not Variety, corner of Morrison Avenue and Willow. And then access uh, off of uh, Morrison to the Somerville Community Path. Um, this is showing the access at the top of Highland Road and uh, here's the path and this is really uh, a extra special um, you know uh, piece to the neighborhood because it gives people um, access um, to the Davis Square T um, Here's Davis Square T, and you can see as I travel with my pointer, this green line is the Somerville Community Path. So, you know, residents enjoy utilizing this path uh, to come and go to Davis Square. And what's exciting is right now the path extends to Lowell Street, but it's in the process of being extended all the way uh, through um, Somerville on into um, Leachmere Station in Cambridge. So this path, as good as it is, is about to get bigger and better. And uh, it's really just an extra special um, piece to the neighborhood. Also nice is on Highland Avenue at 191 uh, Highland is the Armory, where uh, there is uh, the non-for-profit based uh, group arts at the armory and um, you know it's a community arts center celebrating arts and culture in Somerville with all sorts of um, events that take place here and then in the winter um, the principal uh, space within the large building uh, at the armory becomes the 
Somerville Winters Farmer Market. So that runs from December until April. Uh, there are also special events uh, inside the building uh, that take place. So, you know, it's a real resource uh, for the neighborhood uh, that the armory uh, is here. And then also on uh, Highland Avenue, um, closer to Davis Square is a great um, cafe, Three Little Figs, pictured here. And uh, they have some outdoor seating uh, as well. And as you can see, they have some great treats and uh, breakfast and lunch items. They make a pistachio cookie, which I'm fond of. Uh, and this is just a great local uh, cafe. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, and as you can see here on the map, it's uh, just over Cedar Street uh, off Highland, uh, on Highland, excuse me. Uh, and as you can look, as I zoom back, you can see that uh, the distance from Three Little Figs into Davis is, isn't that far. So this is a, a lovely, uh, cafe in the Powder House uh, neighborhood. I thought I would share a couple uh, real estate uh, listings with you that uh, I've been involved with. So uh, these are in the Powder House neighborhood. And first I wanted to start with a 22 unit new construction complex that uh, came to completion in 2020 known as Cedar Place. And so as you look here uh, on the screen, uh, you can see Cedar Place is off Cedar Street, um, and it's in the Powder House neighborhood that we're describing right now outside of Davis Square. Uh, and so it's a nice location. And so uh, the final phase here uh, at Cedar Place included um, townhomes, and these were mainly two bed plus study townhomes that sold for between a million ninety-eight and a million uh, two, and uh, they were just very nice and are very nice. You can see here some photos of one of them, and uh, let me just uh, take you through the set. So, lovely uh, open floor plan. Uh, you can see kitchen, dining, living room space. This. Uh, phase of the project featured underground garage parking as well and uh, some very lovely uh, fit and finish. You can see this bedroom has the extra windows above the bed for light. Another one of the bathrooms and then the top floor of these townhomes at Cedar Place featured uh, the uh, study as seen here opening onto a roof deck. So that's a very nice feature uh, at this address. So, you know, in addition to the renovation of older homes, we do have on occasion, as with Cedar Place in this neighborhood, new construction. And then more recently in 2022, I brought to market a first floor two bed, two bath on Morrison Avenue at uh, 49 Morrison Avenue seen here. And, uh, this is a three unit building where the renovations took place in 2011. Here's the front entrance. The direct entrance to the first floor unit is the door to the left. And here we are in the uh, residence itself with nine foot ceilings, uh, which gives the living room as seen a very spacious feeling. It's adjacent to the kitchen with cherry cabinets and stainless steel appliances and uh, a dining area as well. This came to market for 748 in April 2022. Very nice residence and then uh, full bath uh, for the primary bedroom and a second full bath off the front hall in unit laundry. Ample closet space and then there's a back exclusive use porch, stepping down to a shared patio garden. And uh, 49 Morrison Avenue is directly across the street 
uh, from the access to the community bike path. So uh, it's in the heart of the Powder House neighborhood and offers easy access to Ball Square and Davis Square. On my website, charleschurney.com, you can see all the residences now for sale in Somerville and uh, certainly reach out by text, telephone, or email at any time if I can be of service to you to give you more information on any property. My name is Charles Cherney and I'm a top residential real estate agent here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price in Somerville or neighboring Cambridge. I have a deep knowledge of the market and I'm working with buyers and sellers and I welcome the opportunity to connect with you. Be in touch and I welcome the opportunity to be of service. Take care.